The International Olympic Committee expects to bear costs of up to $800 million for its part in the organization of the postponed Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games that was due to be staged next year, talking about 2021. But the tournament will still be called the Tokyo 2020 Games. Now, the IOC president, Thomas Bach, on Thursday said organizers will get $650 million after this summer's games were postponed by a year because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, the other $150 million is set to be split into loans for international sports federations and national Olympic committees with cash flow problems. Uh, this uh, uh, crisis uh, has uh, very severe financial effects uh, on the world, uh, on society, on governments, and uh, so, of course, also on uh, the Olympic Games, uh, the uh, entire Olympic uh, movement, and in particular uh, the IOC in uh, this uh, respect. So uh, we have been uh, discussing uh, these uh, uh, financial uh, effects, this financial impact uh, uh, today. Uh, you can imagine that this is not uh, easy because uh, planning in these days uh, is uh, uh, you know, so difficult because of all the uncertainties uh, uh, you have. Uh, nobody knows how the world uh, looks like uh, tomorrow. So uh, we had an assessment uh, there of all this uh, financial impact and uh, we uh, were thinking uh, uh, there then in a, the format of an envelope to create an envelope uh, because uh, you cannot put uh, a number uh, to a development. Uh, you are not uh, sure uh, whether this is happening. This is an a very incremental planning uh, uh, procedure. Uh, so uh, then as a result of uh, all these deliberations, uh, the IOC Executive Board uh, has uh, today approved an envelope of up to uh, 800 million uh, US dollars to address uh, the, the financial consequences of uh, this uh, COVID-19 uh, uh, crisis. Uh, we uh, anticipate uh, that uh, we will have to bear costs of up to uh, 800 million US dollars uh, for our part of uh, the res responsibilities for the organization of uh, 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 the Games. And uh, this amount uh, there will be covered by uh, the IOC itself, uh, of course, including uh, any funding uh, we may have to refer to uh, from the Olympic uh, Foundation. Uh, this uh, 800 uh, million consists of uh, two major parts. Uh, there is uh, one part uh, of uh, 650 uh, million. Uh, which uh, refers uh, to uh, the costs for the organization of uh, the postponed uh, Olympic Games for the IOC, uh, and an aid package of up to uh, 150 uh, million uh, for uh, the uh, Olympic uh, movement, in particular uh, the international federations, uh, the national Olympic committees, and uh, the IOC recognized uh, entities to enable them uh, to uh, continue uh, their sport, to continue their activities, and to continue their support uh, to uh, uh, their uh, uh, athletes. But that was some of us back uh, talking about what the money will be used for. But we have Femi Adetola joining us. He is the Public Relations Officer of the Nigeria Olympic Committee. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much. Good morning, Doctor. All right, morning. Uh, can you give us detailed information on exactly what the IOC president is talking about, talking about the $800 million uh, that will, they will be used as Olympics fund? Well, uh, Doc, I, I don't know what you want me to say again. <laughs> well, my president has already spoken. <laughs> mm. You know, it's good to hear from the horse's mouth and, of course, put yes, a proper um, explanation to it. it yes, yes. Uh, well, the, the IOC, they've been meeting uh, virtually because uh, the Olympics has taken a lot of things away from them this yeah. year. And uh, it's not really very easy for IOC, just like for sports all over the world. So, 
So what, what we are looking at, uh, what, what I just explained, is that the six hundred and fifty million dollars mm. uh, is what they, 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 are, they are looking at for, you know, because uh, of the postponement of the, the games. Olympic. You know, we have the international federation, and they have to take all these ones. We have uh, two O six nation Olympic committee. Mm. These are the ones that form the five rings: Europe, Africa, America. Asia and Australia. Mm. So this money will take care of them when they be uh definitely they'll be meeting uh June 10th and July 16th before the IOC Federation board meeting mm. to really decide on how this money will be expended. You understand? And interestingly, uh we have our president from Nigeria, mm -hmm. who is an IOC member. So I think we have very lucky. Uh, to know how all this money will be expended when uh, they meet. Mm, okay, so no breakdown has been done yet on what will be done with the money when it arrives? Not, not yet. Mm. Now, we, uh, Bach was also asked about the games, if the coronavirus still extends to next year. He refused to say if there will be another delay to the games. But what do you think uh, concerning the coronavirus? Now, we don't have any, any vaccine yet, and we're looking forward to 2021 for the games to restart. And the athletes as well, I'm sure they're preparing hard for 2021. But do you think that it's feasible for us to restart the, the, the Tokyo 2020 Olympics? And, of course, when will preparation start for the athletes? Well, uh, like he said, that, uh, we, are, we are not God because uh, God, God, is the, God is the most high. Mm. And uh, we just have to pray a lot because here and there, they'll be trying to see what they can do as regards the vaccine. Mm. If, uh, you know, one can have the vaccine and then move on. We still have 14 months away from the game. So who says, who says we can't uh, come out of it and uh, be back on our feet mm. so that the athletes can go back to the tracks and uh, they can go back to the gym? They can go back to uh, the boxing ring and prepare for the Olympics. But I, I pray that the Olympics comes to come to place because uh, the athletes are fully ready, and uh, it, it's not been good for them. Have uh, you know get the same re ready for the Olympics and have been able to play? All right. Thank you very much for speaking with us this morning, Femi Adetola. Thank you so much. And please continue to stay safe out there.